Hello Pirate fans, I'm Jeff Cunningham, the Assistant Director of Sports Information here at Hampton University. And joining me today is Maurice Pierce, the brand new Director of Track and Field here at Hampton University. Those of you who may know, for the past decade plus, Coach Pierce has been the Director of the Lady Pirates. Now, Coach, you're taking over both programs. Right. Take us a little bit through the process of going taking over both programs. Um, well, it, it's been a long process. Um, this is something that uh, Dr. Harvey and, and the former, all the past four athletic directors have always talked about doing, uh, but it has never come about, uh, mainly, mainly because we just didn't have the pieces in place. So it's been an ongoing process, but we finally got it together this time. Uh, uh, Dr. Harvey committed to it, and we got the staffing that we need, and that was the biggest point. We were able to keep the staffing that we needed. So I was able to keep both of my assistant coaches and bring in two more assistant coaches. Um, so I think it's going to be a, a, a smoother transition than most people think. Mm -hmm. And if you look at most programs in our conference that have uh, combined programs, either the men are good and the women are not good, or vice versa. But we're going to make sure that both teams, men and women's teams, become good, good teams. What's your biggest point of emphasis in your first season directing both programs? One, we want to make sure that the, the, the level of expectation and the consistency of winning with the women's program stays the same. Uh, we don't want to let that slip. But at the same time, we want to make sure those individuals on the men's team that qualify for the national championship continue to qualify. But we have to get them to understand that it's also a team concept. So my number one goal is to move them up in the conference, uh, maybe in top two, top three in the first year. So we got to recruit more kids that can do multiple events and not just one after that can run one event. So that's going to be the biggest thing, recruiting. Big things going on in Hampton University track, not just on campus, not just within the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, but also worldwide. Mm -hmm. Hampton University will be very well represented in London for yep. the Olympics this year. Two former Lady Pirates competing, a current Lady Pirate competing. Right. We'll start with the former Lady Pirates, Kelly Wells and Francina McCrory uh -huh. on Team USA. Talk about that. One. Well, it's been a long journey for both of them. Um, but we're excited and we're looking forward to it. And I think um, everybody around the world understands where they come from and their stories. Both of them have a story that they come along with and they've been through their struggles. So this is like icing on the cake for both of them. And we are expecting, and I say we, me and the whole United States contingent, are uh, expecting both of them to come back with an individual medal. Uh, we, we, we like to know that right now both of them are ranked in the top five or even top three in their event. They had a great year so far, they're healthy, and I'm just excited to, to be a part of both of them and to watch both of them come back with a medal. Kelly Wells in the 100 meter hurdle, she was an All-American here at Hampton, Francine McCrory in the 400 meter dash, three-time NCAA champion here at Hampton. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the current Lady Pirate who will be competing. She won't be wearing Team USA colors, mm -hmm. but sophomore Amy Frank competing mm -hmm. over in London as well. Well, I, I think that's good for Emmy. You know, anytime you get an opportunity to represent your country on the national stage, and this is the biggest stage, uh, it, it has to be exciting for her. And, and you know, she's probably full of nerves right now. But anytime you got a former athlete and a current athlete, all right, competing at the same Olympic Games, um, it's, it's special. It's special for our program. It's special for the university. The expectations for Emmy to do extremely well are not there. I think it's just a matter of her. Um, being a good ambassador on their team and running a good relay leg on their relay and, and just enjoying the moment and looking forward to the experience and let this be a springboard for future Olympics. Um, so we're excited and I think we're probably one of the only small schools of our size that have three mm -hmm. athletes competing at the Olympic Games. Uh, we're going to do our best and I'm going to work with Emmy when she gets there. Um, I haven't been in contact with her recently. So I think this right here is going to help her when she comes back next year and springboard her and to qualify for the national championship in, in the 400. I think this is just, this is what she needs to see the whole picture of track and field and understand what it's all about. What country will be she representing? She'll be representing the Netherlands. Okay. Um, she'll be representing the Netherlands. She's gonna run on that four by four relay team, um, which competes, they start on August the 11th, I mean the 10th, August 10th and 11th, um, on the four by four. And I think they have three other good people. Um, so they, they, they'll do well. And I'm looking forward to seeing them run. They, they probably can make the finals also. Big things going on at Hampton Track and Field. Of course, Coach Pierce knows, stranger to the Olympics, he's coached Olympians before, including the 2008 silver medalist in the men's 110 hurdles. 
Maurice Pierce, the director of track and field here at Hampton University. Be sure to check out more from Hampton University Athletics. You can visit our official website, www.hamptonpirates.com. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash HU Athletics. And you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash HU Athletics or at twitter.com backslash HU Athletics. For Maurice Pierce, the director of track and field here at Hampton University, I'm Jeff Cunningham, the assistant director of sports information. Thanks for watching. Thank you.